Hey guys, you see Cure out here cutting with this little bitty saw? Wow, let's go in the shop right quick. I'm gonna show you how this all started. What do you think? I think it's pretty cool. All right, look below the video. I'll put a link to that. You're gonna like that. I had to get me one because I'm getting what, too old? Uh, yeah. yeah. No, I'm not. You can give 22. me that. 22 and a half. All right, so let's head in. I'll take a look at how this all began. Hey guys, I'm out here right now with Nina. It's Nina Gale, and that is Ruby Lynn. That's right, come here. And these are my little McNabs. They're Ida May, Ida May's pups. I'm out here with a brand new battery powered pole saw. I've got a real cool Remington and a McCulloch that are also the same, but they're 120 volt. And they're, they're actually hell to work with up on the ladder. This thing is freaking light. As I got older, I was fighting those other two, and this one is every bit of about 10 pounds lighter, even, even with the battery. Is it as powerful? Of course not. Um, but with a six inch blade, pretty much all the limbs I need to worry about, there it is. I want to show this to you. This is actually, this is, this is actually very, this was way more affordable than I thought it was going to be. So this is branded as a C sill or C side, but you see that's got the little flip up cover on it, and you really shouldn't attempt to ever top cut. But if you slip it in, I'm sure it'll pop up, right? You know, to top cut. These are not made to just bear down, okay? But if you lay them on there, they'll cut and they'll cut real good. So I haven't used this one yet, but I have a neighbor who has an identical one, but for some reason his is a different color. Um, I think his was orange, and but it is the same brand, same everything. So I had a hell of a time finding this. Actually, I thought I was looking at the wrong one, but it's the same model number, and I got one. Now, it comes with two batteries. So I'm going to show you. This thing has got like a, I don't know, 12 foot reach. And it's real simple to use. It's got two locking little uh, screws there where you can tighten it. And it's got multiple different angles. I'm just going to pop this thing in here. And then, then it's got a uh, slip out preventer, this little thing right here. So you turn that and it keeps it from popping out. All right. Now, doubt it will, but if you hit the button on a limb, it could. You see? So if you just bump it, it might. But typically hitting it, it's not going to hurt nothing. All right. So I'm going to put this over here. Now, this has a straight through. You don't have to push the button of that right here. When it's on here, you don't have to push the button. When you take it off, you mount the battery also on the tool, which is kind of cool for like, you know, basically hedges and things like that. Um, the coolest part about this is they actually gave me, a, they, they, it comes with, look, check this out. Now this is some goofy stuff. They put gloves in there. These are going to be real tight on my hands, but that'll work. And a extra chain, decent quality safety glasses. And then a puny little oil bottle, you know, for oil in your chain, because you can't, you can't have a pre-oiler in something you're going to be holding vertical. Does that, does that make sense? I hope everybody catches on to that. Most of these don't have a pre-oiler. And if they do, you got to lower it to the ground, rev the motor of it, and then bring it back up. So you're only going to cut four or five limbs, clear the area, put a little, a few drops of oil. So I did it this way. I just got me one of these. It's about a buck at the dollar store. Okay. And it'll hold a pint this thing here hold about what 40 milliliters no thank you and it, it's kind of squishy so um this is a real nice item it's also it's also a i believe a brushless motor so i'm going to put it down here on the floor and hit the trigger and you it's got a little safety right over here it's got a little safety right there and you can hit the trigger and i'll show you here auto brake and everything on it now we're going to take it outside here in just a minute but look at this my remington wouldn't do this i had an old home light wouldn't do this um i like this part a lot because then i can kind of just let it let it 
kind of hang on it a little bit. And then these all cast forward and this allows it to turn. So I can turn this head, hold on, there we go. See, I can turn the head on it at, at a different angle from, from where I've got this. And that really helps because then it doesn't kind of just wear you out, you know, trying to trying to hang it and hold on to it. And I like that. So there, lock it back. Now, as far as durability, hell, I don't know. But we're going to take it outside here in just a minute. We're going to take a look. We're going to see, is this little tool, this little weird named tool, huh? Ain't that white ruby, huh? You look so much. She look, Don't she look identical to Ida Mae? She is literally her twin. Nina, however, uh, I don't know. She's a lot softer and fluffier. All right, so there's the name. CC, I guess, if you're going to speak, I guess, that way. So there you go. But really cool. Comes with a basic little one amp or three-quarter amp charger, 0.750 or whatever. Two little batteries. Just plenty for doing your get out there and cut a few limbs. And 21 volt. Fits. That's the best part this charger which is a fast charger and i first got them i'm like wow that looks looks so hmm so i took a multimeter to, yeah it's all right it's all good and then i took the battery that comes with these and popped it on the popped it on there and i'm like oh wow that saves me a ton i can stay outside a long time on that one all right so let's get it outside and let's take a look right girls nina Oh, she's such a squirrel. She jumps up in my arms whenever I'm walking around out here. She will knock me knock me down. So, ain't that right? You want to jump up? Come on. Oh, there she is. <laughs> That's my girl, huh? Yeah, she's, she's something else. All right. Let's take it outside. All right, so I brought it outside, and I got out here on the edge of Kira's garden frame, and we've got a tree that just, it's a pecan tree, just wants to hang over. It's got a few dead limbs. Well, it's giving her shade on her pumpkins and things, so I brought a extra small battery that we will be using on the handheld part of that for a few short line things, and we're going to run this one. Um, I have Kira hold the battery here. She's out here working with me. She's the limb dragger, official yeah, limb Dad dragger. Dad started putting the oil on it. I was like, wait, you got to film that. So it's just a few <laughs> drops that you'll put on it like that. You're going to get these always oily. So here, you can cap that yeah, up. Yeah, they'll be pretty oil a little bit. And um, then you're going to just give it a little spin. You get the oil worked around on it. And up here if now. I, if that's safe. Yeah, that's fine. All right. And, you want me, what do you want me to do with the battery? Um, put it in your pocket? Yeah, put it in my pocket. It's small enough, so I'm going to reach up there. It looks like about an inch and three-eighths to inch and a half limbs up there. Just hold it here. So I'll bring it down here so I can show them. See this here? Down here. Okay. All right, so it's got latches on it that allows the extension, okay? So I'm going to extend the first section of it. It's getting tall. It's getting tall. Lock it into place. Oh, you lock it into place. Right. Yep, you locked it into place. And then I'll open the next one. And it's a spring load to this thing, so you're going to kind of have some resistance on it. Lock that one. And lock it in place. Oh, hold on. I knocked that one loose, sir. It says pull gently. All right. Yeah. So I'm not shooting this all the way out. And then you'll see up there that limb. Now, here's a cool feature with this thing. I'm going to tilt that head one little angle like that. Okay. And we're going to reach up in there. And we're going to get us some of these quasi-dead limbs out. Hung it up. All right, cut that one out. I'll reach up there on that one. That works pretty good, guys. This one here's got a bunch of pecans on it, but it's got to go. All right, dropped off in the garden. So you'll see that that made it really good here. Bring it down the ground. That made it really nice to be able to do that cutting like that. And my Remington don't do that. So now I'll pop it, pop it off of here. Okay. And I'll grab the battery. 
just stay right there. Right. This thing reaches about 12 feet. And if I was on a ladder, I'd get real up there. And now we got it like that. So I'm going to walk over here to this one. Come on over here. And show you that it's got pretty good cutting power. Now this is about an inch and three quarter of Now that's the one that hit me in the head when I was on the riding lawnmower. It, get, it loses. It didn't win that battle. Yeah. So yeah. this is a pretty easy, simple saw to use. And the price is right. So, I mean, I just, I love that. I kind of wish I would have got one of these a long time ago. It does have a real easy tensioner. Loosen that. Then you work that one right there. And then tighten it back up. You want to make sure you can pull a little slack on it, just like that. And you'll oil this as soon as you kind of notice too much pulp and stuff building up in it. You'll put a few drips in it, but that's about it. It'll run for a very, very long time. It's like the ultimate sawzall for tree limbs. It, yeah. Isn't that sweet? I just got to keep it away from Kira. You're going to keep it away from me. <laughs> All right.